Okay, I just started the screen recording for the app, so I should be able to superimpose that on the video. Hit the button and see what's happening. You hit the button? Yeah, you hit the button. Oop, okay, the BMS showed up on the list. And it lights up red. That's pretty oh, cool. Awesome. All right, let's go in here. Do you want to hold this? Sure. You go in. Looks like discharge turned off. I have a I have an error going on here. It says modify PW PWD in time. I'm not sure what that means. Um, PW oh that's probably password. Okay. So it needs me to modify the password the first time I come in. Okay, I get it. We've got 26.95 according to this. Um, what's this over here show? Let's get this up. Let me check. So twenty six point six zero. All right, so I'm gonna have to calibrate that at some point because I trust mine that I've used for years. Okay. All right. Looks like our cells are doing really good. There's like no um, difference between the cells. Yeah, you don't have to, I got the screen recording on this, so you don't have to show that. Um, everything looks good there, so let's go through and go my settings. Eight cells, capacity. Why are you not letting me, oh, I have to verify password. All right. We are at 200, oops, I gotta move this out of the way. 80, 280. I want to balance triggered at 05. Calibrate the voltage. What did I say that that was? 66 or 6? No. 66. Well, I will do that here in a little yeah. bit. We'll go to advanced settings. Okay, so I gotta actually make some changes again because I have to. Set the life PO4, change this back to 280, change this to 05, calibrate later. Back. back. I'm talking to the dog. Yeah. Because all you're filming right now is the ground. Well, technically I'm filming the BMS, but I can film Scouty. <laughs> Hi, Scouty. All right, yeah, so say hi. oversell, I don't want to go up all the way. I'm going to go to 5.5, five, which means I'm going to drop this down to 5.0. Oh. Send that one. Why would it not send that one? Send that one first, then send that one. Okay. So under protection is good. Power off is good. Start. Max current, max balance current is two. Uh, continuous charge, uh, let's go to 150. All right, continuous discharge 200. Uh, the, okay, the under protection, I don't like those numbers, so everything's in Celsius, so I gotta think of what I wanna do. Let's say six degrees. Yeah, leave it on. And then, no. Should I don't, no, just do that the other way around. Turn off. Three degrees, turn back on, six degrees. Okay. All right. 
I'm not, I didn't measure any of the resistance of the wire, so I'm not going to make any of those changes. Looks like I am set there. Let's go back to status. It says modify password in time. Everything's good there. All right, so I guess the next step is to set, set up our charger to make sure we're charging. All right, put this there. All right. So we got this going to be a little bit backwards. So these are going to be. Positive down that side, negative down this side. Try to plug that in. Hey, look, it does help if it's plugged in. <laughs> So we got native set up. This should auto sense what we've got going on. Whoa, it didn't like that. A little spark. Yeah. Bigger spark. All right. So it's reading 26.7 volts. So as we can go through and calibrate this one, because that's two of them telling us it was lower. Okay. All right, so well, half of the problem is I don't think I turned charging on on the BMS. So let's get the screen capture thing out of here. Yep, charge is turned off, discharge turned off, balance is turned off. So where do I go to control? That's where I go for that one. Wow, oh, it's a newer version than the things I've seen online. All right, so we're going to first allow charging. That's where we're getting our... Here we go. Now go back to our status. Or swipe to it. It's still not showing any charge coming in. I expect to see a charge up at the top there. Oh, that's dumb. That was really dumb of me. All right, guess what I did? I hooked it directly to the battery, not to the BMS. So it's not gonna read a charge because it's not going through the BMS. Oh. Here, let's turn this thing off. Disconnect over here. Try this again. Yeah. All right, so, well, that's why we're filming. We're filming, seeing mistakes. Now it should not jump out at me again. It does not. Okay, and I'll get our numbers up. All right, so we are charging. Now we can use all 10 amps of the charger to charge the batteries. Yay. So to answer your question from earlier, how do we speed up the whole process? Before we had eight cells at 280 amp hours each. So it was like 2,240 amp hours of 3.2 volts. Now we only have 280 amp hours at 24 volts. So at the 10 amps from 0% state of charge to full would be 28 hours. So take 10. So from zero with it configured like this at 10 amps going in, it would take 28 hours to go from zero to full. 
which means although we've spent 96 hours so far doing it when it was all in parallel, this should be done by the time we're done dinner. <laughs>